So getting a new phone is always fun, but after going through the initial setup, you might find yourself rifling through the settings and features wondering what the hell to do next. So grab your Thunder Buddy, maybe go to the potty if you need to, and I'll show you how I set up my OnePlus 6, and yes, where to get the wallpaper and icons too. Now, starting with getting rid of any useless apps, there were a few double apps that I already get from Google, like the calendar, the calculator, and the notes app, but other than that, OnePlus is pretty good at sticking with just the essentials. Now, as most of you know, with almost every phone, I usually swap out the stock launch with Nova Launcher so that I can restore my layout backup. Well, that hasn't changed this time either, but I actually really like the OnePlus launcher. So if you do decide to keep the stock launcher, first thing I'd recommend doing is long pressing on the home screen to get to launcher settings and then home screen layout and set the columns to five and icon size to the largest so that you have a little more playroom when organizing apps on the home screen and they're also big enough to accurately tap just in case you have freakish toe thumbs like me. Then I go back to launcher settings and toggle on double tap to lock, then jump into device settings and then gestures and toggle on double tap to wake. This way, when you're at the home screen, you can double tap to sleep your phone and when the screen's off, you can double tap to wake. Pretty sweet. Anyways, if like me, you decide to go with a third party launcher, now's the time to jump into settings and scroll down to default home app and select the launcher you downloaded. After that, because it's Nova Launcher, I jump into the backup and restore option and restore my layout. Now, once my layout and launcher settings have been restored, it's time to pick a wallpaper and some icons. Um, I usually start by picking a wallpaper and then choose an icon pack to complement the wallpaper with. This time, because we're heading into summer, I wanted warm and colorful, so I went with this sort of neon Miami theme, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I rather like it. Anyways, I started with this sweet wallpaper named Vice Rise from an awesome wallpaper app called Backdrops, which is free by the way, and I'll have a link for that in the description too. Then I downloaded the Unicorn Dark icon pack, which I think actually goes really well with the wallpaper. Um, and to keep things clean and uncluttered, I have my folder set up so that I swipe up to open, and then I just picked an app in that folder that best describes to me what that folder contains. So for instance, I have this Facebook middle finger as my social media folder. There's there's other icons to choose from. The Philips Hue icon for my smart home folder, Google icon for my Google apps, and so on. Um, after that, I added the Nova Launcher Google search widget and changed the color to better match the rest of the home screen. Then I jumped into display settings and switched over to the dark theme. And then just below that, changed the accent color to cyan, which as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the color scheme, ties in everything nicely. Now, while we're still in display, I jump up to screen calibration and and choose the DCI P3 profile. I mean, that's totally up to personal preference. I just prefer how the colors look, but they do give you several options, which is pretty sweet. Just below screen calibration is notch display. Now for me, because the notch is new, I'm like a moth to a flame. Ooh, neat. So for now it's staying, but I can always change that later. Anyways, the last thing I changed in display settings was the default notification color to cyan to again, further add to the overall theme. Now under customization, I swapped the button layout for gestures, kind of confirming my moth to a flame analogy, but also cause damn girl, look at all that screen. From there, I backup once ensuring that press power button twice for camera is toggled on and then I move on to gestures. Now in here I have long press to take a photo toggled on since the front facing camera doesn't have a portrait mode. So with this while in portrait mode I can face the rear camera at me and long press the fingerprint reader for the shutter button. It's kind of a shitty workaround but it works and it works well. Uh, flip to mute I have off cause you know the volume button works just as good but you know, now that I think about it, I guess there's no reason to have it off. So uh, three finger screenshot I have off cause I suck at gesture triggered screenshots. I always seem to end up scrolling up or down on a page or screwing something up. Um, and then we've already covered why I have double tap to wake on. Now, as far as drawing letters and shit like I'm on Sesame Street to trigger actions or apps, um, I, I don't really know what to say about that. I'm not really into it. So I just kind of leave all of that alone. Now, when it comes to the status bar, because it has that notch, you might find that you don't see the status bar icon from that one app you always use. If that's the case, you can come in here and disable the status bar icon of some services or apps you don't really need to know is active or not. Personally, I don't run a ton of crap in the background, so I just leave everything as is, but this is a really helpful settings option in case you need it. For the font, I have the OnePlus Slate font set, and then in sound and vibration and then vibration intensity, I have it set to strong for both incoming calls and notifications, because I want to hear the vibration if I have the slider set to vibrate. 
Also, in case it happens to be on my lap when I get a call or notification. Mm. And then everything else gets turned off because I'm not an asshole. <laughs> now, one thing I noticed is that the animation speeds are particularly slow on the OnePlus 6 for my taste. So the last thing I did was jump into developer settings and then changed all the animation speeds to 0.5. And just like that, everything's as smooth as spreading cream cheese on a bagel. So there you have it, how I set up my OnePlus 6. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. And keep an eye out for my one week impressions video because this phone's actually surprising surprised me in a few areas. Anyways, if you like the video, show me some love at that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.